Happy Friday, Elementary D. How are you guys? I, of course, miss you so, so, so much, and I wish we were at school doing science for real in class, but until that happens, uh, we're going to keep doing classes online. First, I wanted to quickly talk about um, Wednesday's assignment. So, you guys did incredibly well on Wednesday's activity. Um, your answers, most of them were in really good, perfect, complete sentences, awesome English. Um, and I could tell that you guys actually understood, for the most part, the seven things that all organisms do if they are a living thing, if they're an organism, right? So you guys did really good on that. So first, before we move on to today's activity, I wanted to review those seven things, okay? Move. You know what moving is, right? I'm moving, animals move, plants actually move as well because they're alive, right? Respire also means breathe. Sensitive, we talked about that last week, how you react to your environment like a rock is not sensitive and it's not alive. Um, growing, reproducing, excrete, and nutrition. Those ones are a little bit easier, I think. Um, and then we look down here. The easy way to remember the seven processes of life is Mrs. Gren. Okay, so super easy. That's how we remember. Um, so this is what you guys went over last week. Now, for today's activity, you also see this is not in purple. So again, we're not going to do board work. That's what we're going to start next week with. So um, for this week, we're just doing individual activities. So here's what you guys are going to do for today. Um, as you can see, I have individual work, seven characteristics of life in purple. So I want this copied into your notebook at the top of wherever you're going to start this new section. And then you're going to create a table in your notebook just like mine. Okay. This is the table I have created. It has a characteristic. Remember, there's seven of them. So you need to write all seven, movement, respiration, sensitivity, all of this. Okay? And then two questions. I also wrote them right here. Write two <laughs> sentences for each topic. So what does it mean? And can you give an example? So what does it mean is just a definition, um, what you think it means. So what does movement mean? I kind of did the first one for you. So movement, all living things move. Okay, humans, animals, and plants move in their own ways. Examples, humans can walk, animals can run, plants can move towards the sun. Okay, humans can also run, but these are just my examples. Yours has to be two sentences. The first one, what is it? What is respiration? So, respiration is when an animal or a human or a plant breathes. Okay, we all know the word breathe, so that's explaining what respiration is. And then, you're going to write an example. Here it says examples, and here I wrote example. So just one example is fine. So um, when I play soccer, I breathe really hard, okay? Or I respire, whatever. Use this word right here. And you're going to do that for all seven of them. So that means you're going to write 14 sentences, which seems like a lot, um, but it won't be too hard. You just have two sentences for each one, okay? Pretty simple. What is it, and what's an example? Uh, this is due by Tuesday. So you guys do have quite a bit of time. You have all of Friday, all weekend. If you want to work on it, of course, you don't have to do homework over the weekends. And then you have all of Monday as well. So it's due by Tuesday, April 21st at 9 a.m. through Class Dojo. Remember, if you guys have questions, you can send me a message on Class Dojo. A lot of you sent me really sweet things for um, Teacher's Day, which was really sweet. So you can always message me on there, and I will help you if you have a question. And then make sure you turn it in to the portfolio, to the folder on Class Dojo by 9 a.m. on Tuesday, April 21st. I will see you guys next week in a video on Wednesday. Bye!